Hey, and welcome back, Sand Rockers. Let's see what we have going on today. <laughs> we have mail. Hi there, Builder. Special delivery. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Oh, hey! I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sand Rock. Sounds great. Let's go. Yeah, cool! The Jasmine Co. official Sand Rock tour is now beginning! Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakmel Ranch. Um, Jasmine? Ja what? Jasmine? Notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Oh, you can see the Yakmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like... Moo! <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Yes, ma'am, we will. Jasmine, um, we need to talk about that. the first mayor of Sand Rock, and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Oh, hey, that reminds me. You know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Conserve wow. order. Yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Mardo's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. Um, I'll I'll just meet you up here. The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sand Rock. RVO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. 
Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. And this is the last stop on the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the Research Center and the Golden Goo. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. Tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Yeah, very nice. I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much, but you do. So I think that means we can be good friends. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots oh, of Oh, I want to be your friend too, Jasmine. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. We will try. We like playing games. All right, we need a commission. We need. Ah, we, we need to go see Chief. A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? I'm informing you now, Chief. A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. That'll work, that'll work. Come here when you have more data disks. How many do I have? Definitely not enough. We need a commission, we need to see what the side quest is. Let's grab a commission first. And we can already finish the commission. That's great. It's all right. you want to hold a grudge. Hey, you're tougher than you look. If not for you, that whopper might have pulled me in. Say, you ever done much sand fishing yourself? Giving it your all, struggling against nature, never knowing for sure who'll come out on top. In case you hadn't figured it out, that's kind of my thing. You're a city slicker, ain't ya? Well, don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now, you hear? That's a whole desert out there just waiting to be explored, and all kinds of sandfish just waiting to be caught. Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. Well, I'd better get gone and find out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. So long. Okay, so... Let's, um... Let's go break some junk. <laughs> Hey! 
Oh, there's Venti. Howdy. Catch you later. Oh, they really need a mining video right here or something. Some some kind of song or something. Let's go get our recyclers going. Pick up a few odds and ends on the way there. Time for that. Letter from Ma. Everything's fine, Ma. Don't worry about me. Let's go get us another chest from RVO. Let's do our skill points. I mean, yes, first thing we are going to do is unlock more stamina, of course, yes. I wonder what the max stamina is on this game. I don't even think I've reached it on my other playthrough. RBO, I want a chest. Thank you, good sir. Any good junk down here to pick up? Nope. Hey, Sandy, how you doing? start slamming some chests down right here let's get our this is the DLC pack Thank you. 
that should definitely give us a boost. Also, I feel like it made us look a little bit better. And this is why I said we need more chests before we go opening them DLCs. Yes, we need another chest, evidently. Let's go start using all of our stanima for today. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I do want to go get this sand rice. We will definitely be using this sand rice for more stamina later on. try to use all my stamina up every day regardless whether it's something I need or not I may end up needing it later just get it stock it throw it in the chest you never know when you're gonna need something Sandberries and the cactus fruit also give you stanima. Stop by Owens, get a quick today's special to get a little bit more stamina for today. Go to our fireside meeting, see what Matilda wants. Seven stamina for five go. We'll we'll take it. It's it's better than nothing. It's cheap. Not trying to spend all of our goals starting out. Is our glass done? Can we take our glass with us? Is it feasible? It is not done. We cannot wait on that. We're going to unlock chests next. I, I feel like we really need to unlock the chests so we know where they're at. No, I'm late. Simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, 
we'll be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Thanks everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to say a few words? I just well, want to be a Sam great builder. builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Conserve water. Okay, we don't have nothing going on. Let's go get our glass. We let's try to get that commission in today. Maybe. I don't know if we can make it back. Well, we're we're definitely gonna try. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Gotta go, gotta go, thank you, gotta go. Don't close me out. I just want to make money. Hey! Ah. Huh? Take her easy. Thank you, Elsie. Oh, another thing about Elsie is... Nice seeing ya. It's not the best gift, wow, but... Wow, thanks. She kind of likes worms. All right, let's go waste some more stanima and then let's go to bed. Never have enough wood. Never. I think you ran into some junk. Hope you got a technic shot. Definitely have some inventory situations here. Hello, new builder. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Burgess, chief safety inspector of the Sand Rock chapter of the Church of the Light. Burgess, I, d I didn't cut your cactus, man. I didn't do it. 
I mostly patrol the oasis. And if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes! As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sand Rock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly! Or cut down the trees, for that matter. I'm still disputing the fact that a cactus is a tree, Burgess. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis? I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. Um, yeah. You will. Maybe. Go Buster Jump. Sand rice, we will be needing that really soon. been busting junk all the live long day i know i know i i, I should have been a music artist i know y'all ain't got to tell me i know level up We can't bust a rubber yet, we need the bronze. Mushrooms. Let's go get a commission. God, we got a lot of quests. Looks like we got a full quest day today. No, we can't do that. We we can't do bronze. Can we can we not have a commission we can do? There's not no commissions we can do. That's never happened before. Okay, well, we won't do a commission today. Oh, and buddy, I, I can't do hey, a commission. You're one of the new builders. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. Are you hungry? I have a couple sample dishes. I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be around. Hey there, builder. 
Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? It, it won't take too long. I'll take free food. I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. To a newcomer, Sand Rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you like to know about? The Civil uh, Corps. The Civil Corps here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala Desert. But they only have two Corps members here, uh, plus <laughs> a cat. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Penn from the church helps out as well. So you got three. Now the one running the Civil Corps is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? The Church, Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock especially the old folk and the youngins. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, creeks have water, don't they? What would you like to know about? People. Let's see, <laughs> where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch, Katori and her game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. Amira makes ceramics that are top notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. What's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> Really, this town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. <laughs> and hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now and again? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. What would you like to know about? The ah, dangers. Yes. There is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. One day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I 
Can't really blame him. Sandrock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. Owen, we will build this town up together. What would you like to know about? <laughs> yep, uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. Oh, today was nice. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? I love food, Owen. G give me all the food. I love food. Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order? Get the special of the day. That's right. We've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I hope to see you again soon. Okay, um, RVO. I need more chest. Place this wow. sword and his shield. Um. Yes, Burgess, you, you need training. <laughs> oh, hello. Aha. <laughs> sure, I'll go build you one. Inventory's full. Hey, Captain, you uh, stuck on a wall there. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Jetson. Howdy. Mm hmm. Catch you later. Nice to meet you, Captain. Is going on here. You must be one of the new builders. Well, justice is my name and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts, head of the Silver Corps. Having said that, what are you doing so far from your workshop? It ain't safe here. For some darn reason, these lizard folk have been poking into our territory as of late. Spray painting their names all over things. Picking at structures all over. I've heard they even messing with our bridge here. They call themselves the Gigglers. And them acting all emboldened like couldn't have come at a worse time. Light knows we've got enough to worry about with Logan and his gang out prowling around. Well, be warned. Best be on your way away from here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a weapon. No, I'm not going over there. All right, we have one more quest over here at the Oasis. Or 
or Waterworld or somewhere. Oops. Um, it disappeared. Okay, well. Let's go check out this quest. Hey there. Reckon you got my letter? How's Mason's old shack treating you? If it's not quite what you were expecting, might be high time to start upgrading. It definitely needs an upgrade. De definitely not big if enough. If the goals and the materials, I can set you up with a new building for your workshop or upgrade something you've already got. Just take a look at that catalog over there on my desk to see what we're working with. Oh, also, I've always got plenty of materials stored around here. If you ever want to trade some of yours for mine, just check out the Construction Junction shop. That's the gist of it. Here's to a happier home. Um, I can't get goals because I can't get a commission. I, I just, I just wanted a commission. I can't get a commission. Y'all want stuff I can't build. I'm a newbie and I don't know how to build. Let me pick y'all's trash up. Alright, we need to go waste some stanima. some inventory That looks so much better. No, I want to cut grass. If y'all watch my other video on money, you'll be better off just going and getting the lavender stock up on it and sell it later. I love cutting grass. We're making this hill look so beautiful.
We are at a grass cutting stanima. Yay! Alright, we have a perk point. Hmm. Yes, we will go with that because we're going to unlock our other stuff. We bust our drunk this morning. I don't know if we did. Yes, we did. All right, we will go to Owens and get our daily special. And go get even more supply for later for commissions that we can't get. One thing about busting a gravel every afternoon, um, you get these them nice little crystals that, uh, quartz, that's gonna help us in the long run. gonna be doing some off the channel grinding just just to get some stuff built up I know nobody wants to watch just full out grinding getting stuff I'll be making some more recyclers, another furnace, just get some stuff built up. Um, I won't continue the story or nothing, not until we, we do episode three. I'm just gonna build some stuff up, so. Sand Rockers, I will go off the channel to start building some stuff. Thank y'all. Have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe.